Oh, All right, so this is Dr. Alec Brown, and uh, he's a DVM. And uh, when you go to Madagascar, <laughs> you bring your own bed. So what do we have here? We found this female panther chameleon. But then when we look closely, she has a little lump under her left armpit, the axillary region. When we touch it, it's fairly firm, but you can kind of squish it around. And it's loosely adhered, so it's not firmly attached to anything. Doesn't really seem to bother her too much, although she's bothered by pretty much everything we do, so it's hard to say. Based on what it looks like and kind of seeing other animals in clinic, I'd be most suspicious this is some sort of abscess. But without investigating further, like with a, a biopsy or a fine needle aspirate, could also be a cancer of some kind. So if we do have... So you said without a biopsy, it could be cancer. Yeah, it's tough to say or impossible to say without looking some more diagnostics and that's what we'd recommend in clinic but based on it right now and how common abscesses are in reptiles that would be my first suspicion so how would i get an abscess mm. in that location so most of the time we think that there's maybe a puncture of some kind maybe bitten by another chameleon or poked by a stick or a thorn or a bug and then bacteria are seeded deeply within the wound and then there's just a few of them originally the body kind of heals over the puncture area but then the body can work to wall off that infectious material and we get an abscess. In okay. reptiles, it's caseous, so cheese-like, very different from a dog or a cat or a person, which is very liquid. So if these guys come in in clinic, we have to open it up, scoop all the abscess material out, try to shell out the wall of the abscess as well, and then usually leave it open actually to drain for a while. If it was a cancer, then we might have to remove it altogether, but it comes with a worse prognosis typically. So in addition to the possibility of an abscess or a cancer, sometimes we can have little parasites that actually go just under the skin. We don't see that a whole lot in captivity because most of our chameleons are captive bred, at least where I'm from. But in the wild like this, we can have little cestodes that can go underneath the skin in certain species. I'd have to double check if it happens very often in panther chameleons, but we do see it pretty often in green tree pythons or elmo tree boas, especially if they're coming from the wild. It's tricky to deal with them in captivity. If you take them out, they seem to come back again or they develop new ones other places in the body. It doesn't generally cause too much harm for the animal and it does end up being an abscess, which is very similar to the kind of first issue we talked about with bacterial infections. But it, another thing to keep in mind. What is a cesto? It's like a little worm, almost like a tapeworm a lot of the time. Okay, thank you very much.